All right, this is the rod we're gonna review today. Abu Garcia Carabas Extreme. And uh, for those of you like me who didn't know what Carabas is, it's a small beetle. And here is the Carabas logo right here. And there's another logo at the butt cap. Now this will be part one of a two part review. And in part one, I pretty much will just give you, you know, close-ups of the rod and, you know, make a few comments. And part two, I will tape on the water, you know, from my boat. And in part two, I will give you my fishing impressions. Something very interesting about this rod is that it's possible that Abu Garcia is selling the exact same rod under two different names. Because there's another rod called Diplomat Extreme that looks exactly like this one, only the butt section is cork and obviously it will have a different you know, name and a different logo here. And I will leave a link in the description uh, to a review of the Diplomat Extreme by Randy the Trout Magnet Man. And for those of you that are interested, you can compare the two rods and you can decide if they are the same or they're different. Right now, I don't want to waste time speculating about this. But the good news is that this rod right here is readily available in Europe at a very reasonable price, even with free shipping. And that's important because every rod that I have recommended on my channel is out of stock right now. But uh, anyway, this is the exact model of the rod we'll be reviewing. It's a 6 foot 2. The power rating is ultra light and please take a note of the power rating because I'll be comparing this rod with the Abu Garcia Eradicator which has a power rating of super ultra light. Not ultra light but super ultra light. The lower rating on the Carabas is 0.5 gram on the lower limit to 4 grams. And I will say that that's a very reasonable estimate of the capabilities of this blank. But also, if you compare it with the Eradicator, the Eradicator has a lower limit of 0.1 gram. So the lower limit of the Eradicator is lower than the lower limit of the Carabas. And that would make sense if you believe that the power ratings of the two blanks, uh, because one is ultralight and one is super ultralight. Okay, weights. My Carabas weighs exactly 51 and a half grams, and my Eradicator weighs 56 grams. At least today they do. So the Carabas is four, four and a half grams lighter than the already ridiculously light Eradicator. Now, I'm not a person who cares about, you know, four grams, you know, trust me. But if you consider that these rods weigh around 50 grams to begin with, then uh, that's about 8%, you know, weight reduction. And you just have to be impressed by the weights of these rods. The Caravus has a very interesting handle, much fatter than the handle of the Eradicator. And if you are like me with, you know, enormous hands, I have a 25 centimeter span from here to here when extended. If you are somebody with enormous hands, you will definitely appreciate, you know, the fatter handle. I mean, this is without a doubt actually the most comfortable handle that I have touched, at least on an ultralight reel. I mean, it just the shape, it's, it's really perfect for my hands. I'm not saying this is the most sensitive handle and that this is the best design in terms of, you know, sensitivity and performance. I'm sure the Eradicator handle will be more sensitive and it even looks more performance oriented, but as far as just pure comfort, I mean, this thing here is, is really something else. You have to try this to believe just how well it fits in, in the palm, at least in my enormous palm. By the way, you, you might think this whole thing is, you know, cork and not very strong and it's not gonna, the real seat is not gonna hold your reel. 
but actually the real seed is really strong and there is only a very thin layer of cork on top of the core of the real seed. And the real seed even has some metal parts, look at this. Did you expect to find a metal part in the real seed of a rod that weighs only 51 grams? Even this part here inside, I cannot show you, but it's shiny and I don't know how, you know, graphite, I thought it was graphite or some kind of plastic, but it's shiny, man. I, I believe even this piece here has is aluminum too. It's just incredible that they managed to put metal parts in the real seat of a 50 gram rod. The butt section of the carabus is also pretty fat. Look how much fatter it is than the butt section of the eradicator. But I guess if you make a fat handle then you, you gotta make a fat butt section just so you have a uniform look. But interestingly fat butt section has very important advantage in terms of a leverage because you can achieve the same leverage with a bigger weight that's closer to the handle as with smaller weight that's further from the handle. Because, okay, the eradicator has smaller butt, but look how much further it is from the real seat. It's two inches further from the real seat. So, okay, the eradicator is five inches longer than the carabus, but two inches of the difference, two inches of the five inches, are over here behind the real seat where you don't get any advantage in casting or playing the fish the only advantage you get from these two inches here are you know they only used for leverage the blank comes in this deep burgundy color which was just a horrible decision on the part of apple that i hope they will never repeat because this color should have no place in the in the fishing rod business I mean, look at this. It looks exactly like the interior of one of these Buicks from the 80s. No offense to any of my subscribers if you own one of those fine vehicles. But you tell me, how on earth uh, am I supposed to, to find a reel uh, that matches this rod? Who makes burgundy reels? You tell me in the comments what reel would look good on this rod because... I'm, I tried everything I have and I really didn't like anything except perhaps the, the all black Vanquish but you know you can put an all black reel on pretty much anything and, and call it a day. But yeah without a doubt a very disappointing decision on the side of Abu. But uh, the only saving grace of this um, you know unfortunate decision is that the burgundy color is only 5 inches above the handle and 3-4 inches under the handle. That's it. The rest of the blank is, you know, has this beautiful matte black color that's easy on the eyes, matches everything. So it's not too bad because there isn't that much burgundy, but still, Abu, come on, man, what were you guys thinking? The rod comes with these beautiful titanium torsite guides that pretty much all rods in this price range use. And I absolutely love these guides because they are ultra light, they are ultra sensitive and they are ultra beautiful. And the Carabus and the Eradicator have exactly the same first guide but the difference is that the first guide of the Carabus is 5 inches further from the real seat than the first guide of the eradicator. I have the real seats of the two rods down there aligned. So the, the difference in distance from the real seat is exactly as you see it here. And I'm not going to go much into geometry right now. But if everything else is exactly the same, putting the first guide 5 inches further from the real seat will increase your casting distance because of the because it reduces the outgoing angle of the line and the, the effect is the same as if you had a guide here but was like two millimeters larger for example. 
The next few guides of the two rods are also the same size, but then something interesting happens and I'll try to zoom in and show you. I know it's shaking a little, but this is the best I can do. But these are the last, you know, four or five guides on each rod. And you have the carabus on the left and eradicator on the right. And I hope you can see that the carabus, the new rod, has significantly larger inner diameter than the eradicator. Just look at the guide that is closest to you and you'll see what a small hole it has inside. Somebody told me that guides are measured in outer diameter, but that makes no sense to me. What do I care what the outer diameter is? The inner diameter of the carabus is at least one millimeter larger than the inner diameter of the eradicator, which should and will help your casting distance, especially if you use like more than two pound line, maybe two and a half, maybe even three pound line. You should be able to cast three pound line with the carabas just fine, while going three pound with the eradicator will, will not go as silent. This is a comparison of the bending curves of the carabus and the eradicator with one ounce load. I'm gonna go through several of these comparisons pretty quickly, but if you wanna study the difference between the two blanks, just pause on any one of these frames and you know take your time. But this particular frame was very surprising to me because the two rods have different power ratings, if you remember. One is ultralight and the other one is super ultralight. And also the carabus has a solid tip, while the eradicator has a tubular tip. But still, you know, if you look at the, the curves of the tips themselves, there is very little difference. Okay, the carabus has a little bit softer tip and a little bit stiffer blank. But the differences are pretty insignificant in my opinion. Now if you compare the carabas with my Saint Croix rod, again with one ounce weight, then you see what the difference between ultralight and super ultralight should look like. And the carabas is definitely on another level, it definitely in a different power category. Uh, than my Saint Croix rod, and you can tell that the Carabas is super ultralight, and my Saint Croix is is just a true ultralight. Back to the Carabas and Eradicator in this frame, but with two ounces of weight this time. But we can say exactly the same thing. There is no difference in the power of the two blanks. Yes, there is a slight difference in the action of the two blanks and the eradicator does have a little bit, you know, slower taper than the carabas, just like, you know, the model says. But this is definitely not a big difference and not what you would expect. I definitely expected a lot bigger difference than this before I actually loaded the two blanks. And the last comparison between the two rods that I'm going to show you will be with 4 ounces of weight. And I'm going to just have to repeat the same thing one more time. There is no difference between the power of the two blanks. And they should both be rated with the same power rating. And in my opinion, the power rating of the two rods should be super ultra light because... Both of them are just one level, you know, lower and one level more finesse than my St. Croix Legend Elite Penfish, which one more time I consider to be a true ultralight rod. I will agree with the action ratings of the two rods though, even though the difference is not very pronounced. You know, keep in mind for all of these comparisons that the eradicator is a few inches longer and if you get, you know, the curve of the eradicator and you just slide it a few inches to the right, I mean, you get some um, serious overlap even in the, you know, second half of the blank. But anyway, they're not exactly the same and you can tell that uh, the carabas does have a little bit stiffer, you know, first half of the blank. And by the way, the diameter of the first half of the blank uh, you know, close to the handle. The carabas is about one millimeter thicker than the eradicator. 
Uh, so yeah, a little bit stiffer first half of the blank and then a little bit softer tip due to the fact that the canvas has a solid tip while the eradicator has a you know tubular tip. So yeah, the actions are a little bit different and I think actually the different action is the reason uh, why the two rods feel so surprisingly differently in the hand. But um, I'm gonna talk more about how they feel in the hand and you know how they fish. And spoiler alert, they fish differently too. But I'm gonna talk more about that in part two of, of this review. But this is the end of part one. So uh, thank you to all who watched to the end. By the way, if you watch to the end, you know, do drop me a comment and let me know that you saw the end of this video. But yeah, that's the end of it. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.